guys. Sorry for not uploading in a while, but uh, today I am now going to upload this video on my Minecraft mod. This mod took a while and uh, I've had a few errors. <clears throat> um, most of them were trying to update it to 1.19. But I successfully upload, updated it to 1.19 in the end, as you can see with the 1.19. And I am using Fabric. It's a mod loader, and yeah. So I'm just going to go to single player and go to my mod test world. May take a little because OBS is a little uh, laggy. And Minecraft can be a little laggy at times. But then them put together can be pretty laggy because OBS is trying to record your screen and Minecraft is I don't know what Minecraft's trying to do, but um Okay, now that I've got my mod world. Now that I got my mod test world up, <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you guys all the different things I've made. I've already pre I've already made this world. So I've already got all my different mod items in my inventory. So I have I have more than a, a hot bar worth. So I'm going to start with these ones. So pebbles are what you get from mining cobblestone now. Since stone breaks down into cobblestone when it gets broken, I thought it would make sense to make cobblestone turn into pebbles. So let me just uh, fill up where I am with um, cobb cobblestone. And then all I have to do is just put cobblestone, and it's right here, then grab cobblestone, and there we go, now I've got cobblestone. I could have just got it out of the creative inventory, but I just didn't for some reason. Anyway, probably because my pretty much full inventory. So see, when I broke that, I got some, like, four pebbles. And you can turn four pebbles into cobblestone. And then I've also added the winner gem. Now the winner gem is going, the only thing that you can really do with it is you can turn it into an axe. Now, um, wait, I just remembered. I also have armor. I'm not sure what happened to it. Let me just uh, give it to myself because for some reason it's not here. And it is. Yeah, it's right here. So I'm not sure exactly what happened to it. Let me just uh, give myself all the armor. All I need left is now the chest plate. And I can just put winner chest plate. And now, there we go. Now I have the full winner armor. I don't exactly know where it went. Maybe I just didn't add it to my special tab. Let me just search it up to see if it's here. Yeah, it is here. So I guess I forgot to add it to my tab of my stuff. So it should just be in the combat tab if it's not over there. And if it's not in there, there we go, it's in here. So I'm just gonna have to fix that uh, next time I open up the mod, but the winter armor is... Uh, I feel like it looks pretty cool. Uh, my channel colors are kind of like blue and orange. So I made like the diamond armor but with half blue, half orange. At first the leggings and and uh, boots looking like that was a mistake. 
Like, I didn't mean to do that, but I feel like it looks pretty cool now, looking at it. How it's, like, that. It makes it look like each leg is like that. Anyway, let me go into survival mode to show you how good the enhanced stone sword, pickaxe, axe, and shovel. I kind of showed you the pickaxe earlier, but I'll show you again just in case. Now, I'm going to be talking about enhanced stone a little bit later in the video, probably not that later, but um, it's basically an enhanced version of stone. So as you can see, this pickaxe is uh, pretty good. The enhanced stone tools are kind of like iron tools, but with way less durability. By way less, I mean like half as less. I'm not sure if that's like a lot. Probably. I think it is though. And then there's also the winter axe. Also, uh, you see how it's showing like the saturation and how much uh, hunger I'm gonna get. That's from a different mod that I have on. And also my health looking like that. That's from my uh, resource pack that I made. Let me just turn that off so you can see how it actually looks. Sorry if you thought that the health looked like that in my mod. Okay. So there's the Winter Axe, which is made from the Winter Gems. Now, the Winter Axe is the only tool that you can make, not including the armor, out of Winter stuff. And basically, it does one extra damage than a Netherite Axe, and that's pretty much it. The Winter stuff is meant to be better than Diamond. As you can see, it has... 3 armor, 6 armor, 8 armor, and 3 armor, which is just like diamond and netherite. But then, if you saw that armor toughness, oops, if you saw that armor toughness, then uh, it's all 3, but netherite, oops, if I can spell, but netherite, this has an armor toughness of 3 as well. So it's as good as netherite without the knockback resistance. I'm probably going to try to make it a little bit better than netherite by adding more armor toughness, I'm guessing. I would probably add. Maybe I should just keep it like that. Maybe you can write in the comments if I should keep it like that. Or if I should make it better than netherite. Not sure what I should do. But now you might have noticed these two food items right here. So ice cream. Um, since ice cream in real life is very is sugary, when you eat it, I don't know why it's taking so long. It's not supposed to take that long. Probably because of lag. Because it never takes that long except for right now. So it's definitely because of the lag, but you get the speed effect because you just ate sugar. For some, I don't, I don't know if that actually makes sense, but I felt like it made sense, so I added it. Now let me just, uh, let me just clear that effect. By the way, uh, the thing that is making it so you can see how much saturation and hunger it is, that's actually called a mod, it's a mod called Apple Skin. Anyway, um, this cheese. Now, cheese is made of milk, right? So, my idea is that the cheese, since it's made of milk, it'll make your bones stronger. So, dang it, lag. It makes you have extra health. It's uh, pretty good. You get a uh, four cheese from from a cow, milk, from a bucket of milk. I should probably just get a crafting table. And let me just give myself all the recipes, just to show you, um, I think that might, oh wait, no. Uh, 
so there are a few. Oh wait, I did unlock all the recipes. Never mind. For a second, I thought it did nothing. Okay, so in here, if you go here, um, you may notice once you go past all the vanilla recipes in normal Minecraft, you can see some of mine. Right click for more. But yeah, I have a few crafting recipes, like bacon, this is made with pork, and then enhanced dirt, which I'll say more of later, is made with cobblestone and dirt, and there are more crafting recipes, but some of them can be kind of self-explanatory. Like the hamburger, that's uh, bread, bread, and steak. Then the sword. This enhanced stone sword is made of stick and two enhanced stone. But yeah, uh, the recipes, I'm probably not going to go over that much. Unless the recipe is like, like you wouldn't instantly know it. Like, you would have to, like, figure it out. But yeah, that's it for this first hot bar worth of items. There's cobblestone over here, just in case I need it again. I'm not sure why I would need it, though. So, uh, there's the hamburger, the bacon, the enhanced dirt, the winner ore, which is actually never used in the mod, and the enhanced stone. Now, I'm going to start with the winner ore. Now the winner or like I said a few seconds ago, was never used because I couldn't really get the world generation to work correctly because 1.18.2 uh, made the world generation different apparently. So all the tutorials that I could find were were pretty much out, all outdated, and the ones that I did find uh, didn't work. But yeah, this this or will hopefully in the future actually spawn. R for right now I just made a crafting recipe for the winner ore, I mean not ore, the winner gem, which is uh, what you use to get to make the winner axe and the armor. So basically with the way that the winner or works is that it will uh, pretty much it kind of works like diamond ore and uh, I'll show you that how that works so basically when you mine it normally you get a gem and there's a chance that you get XP um, I'm not sure why I'm not getting XP. It was telling me that something about the winner or wasn't working properly, so I'm gonna have to try to fix that later. But um, anyway, let me just let me just also show you. Let me just enchant this with fortune and you get more just like any other or <laughs> now if I gave myself a higher level of fortune it would do better I'm just gonna stack into the sky for some reason now let me just enchant it with fortune 3. Um, wait. Why isn't it supporting it? I guess since I already enchanted it, it doesn't want me to enchant it anymore. Can I just clear it? Um, let me just, uh, let me just get a new one.
and Enchanter with, oops, Enchanter with Fortune 3. And now, I'm getting way more. Sorry for the lag. It's just because OVS and Minecraft are laggy when paired together. Or maybe it's just my computer. I have no idea. Anyway, if you if you also I have no idea what just happened to that, I guess. Oh I guess I really need to get up. Well sounded like I could get it up though. Um let me just um let me just uh, remove these two because I don't need them anymore. Because they both can't have the enchantment I need to put on, or the one that I'm gonna put on. So now as most enchantments work, you can just I mean as most ore blocks work, you can enchant it with silk touch. And what happens when you enchant it with silk touch is you get it. You get it back. Since this mod is still a work in progress, I haven't implemented smelting it yet. But I'm going to implement that soon, even though I probably don't need that yet since I it can't it doesn't even spawn naturally yet. But anyway, now on to enhanced stone. So enhanced stone, the way that it works is that it's will the it it just makes different different kinds of tools. Now the way that it works is in here. It shows that the crafting recipe is two cobblestone. By the way, enhanced dirt can be crafted like that or like that, with dirt surrounded by pebbles or uh, cobblestone and dirt. And that's pretty much it. It can uh, craft the tools, not the winner axe though, because that's made with the winner gem. I can actually show you that right now. If I, if you have two sticks and uh, three winner gems, then you can make a winner axe. I'm not going to make that right now because I don't really need to because I already have one. But anyway, now on to enhanced dirt. Enhanced dirt doesn't do much. It's just, it's just the uh, dirt that takes longer to mine, and another thing is, is that a shovel will not help you, you need a pickaxe. See? That makes it mine faster, you don't need silk touch to get it. Any uh, pickaxe will work, and even if you mine it with the wrong tool, like if you just try to use your fist. It'll still give you it since, uh, I don't know, it's probably still a little delicate since it's just dirt with pebbles, basically. But then, next onto the bacon. I just need to give myself the hunger effect so that I can eat it. And just do 10 seconds and 255, which is the highest amount you can do. And now, now I am completely hungry. And I am now dying because of my hunger. But now I can eat this, and it gives you the strength effect. I have no idea why I chose to do that. I just decided it should give you the strength effect. Not exactly sure why, I just was like, seems like a good idea. But um, there's also the really good food, the hamburger. Now as you can see from the apple skin mod, it will heal you, or it'll give you back hunger, all but one of this. I'm thinking of adding a cheese bacon hamburger 
which would be very, very good. Because it would give you strength, it would give you F extra health, and it would completely fill up your whole hunger bar. I'm not exactly sure if I should do that since it's so good, but yeah. Now just to show you how good the armor is, I'm going to summon a husk. And let me also just get out the winner axe. Now, it's not doing much damage to me, but this Winter Axe does 11 damage, and I also have the Strength effect. So I can one-hit defeat it with a Winter Axe critical hit. Not exactly I haven't tested if you can do it without a critical hit. Let me test that. No, you can't do it without a critical hit. But Wait, why is this taking so long? Uh, it's because I didn't have the bacon effect anymore. As you can you can also eat bacon pretty fast. It's kind of like a kelp where it can be eaten fast. And let's see, how many hits does it take? Oops, I missed. I don't know if I fully had the axe charged up. Okay, it takes two hits if you have the strength. But, if you have the strength and you do a critical hit, then that does it all. I don't know if without the effect you're able to instantly kill it with a critical though. I keep on missing. Okay, I wasn't even doing a critical hit. Why is wow, four hits. Um I didn't even Oh, that was a critical hit, and it takes Two fully charged critical hits to defeat it with this axe. Now, as you noticed with the cheese, I was able to... The cheese and the um, other food item that are... That's, the ice cream and the cheese can be eaten even if your hunger is completely full. But the hamburger... And the bacon cannot be eaten if your hunger bar is completely full. As you can see with this bacon. So. You can't eat the bacon while your hunger isn't uh, down. Which kind of balances the bacon, I guess. Because you, you can't eat the bacon as much. I don't know if that's that well of balancing, but... In the comments, tell me what you think about this mod, and uh, if you like this video, um, I guess click the like button or whatever the YouTube whatever YouTubers say. I don't know. I don't know why I just the butt cheek, but um, yeah, I guess this is the end of the video or something. Bye.